elements receive different forms of events in the DOM. And when you want to handle an event that an element receives, in the callback function that you provide, that callback function would receive an event argument. This event argument is an object with several information about that event. One of the properties of this event object is the target property. And this target property provides information about the element that received the event. In this video, I'll be using some examples to show you how the event.target property works or what it looks like and why you would ever want to use it when handling events. I'll be using this example here to explain the event.target property. This is the HTML for it. So I have a div and an ID of div, a span with an ID of span, a button with a class of hello and an ID of button. And I have this style here where for the div, I give it the background color of orange. I give the span a background color of purple. The button has no background color, it's just a padding. And you can see it here, the orange is the div, the purple is the span, and this is the button. So here in the JavaScript, we have this button and I use the query selector to select the button from the DOM. If you don't know how the query selector works, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can watch a video I made about it. But the idea is that I pass a CSS selector here, which is a hashtag and a button, which is an ID of button. So to select the elements that has an ID of button, this one here. And now that I have this, like I said, when you want to handle an event let's say i want to handle this event using add event listener and i pass the event that i want to handle in the callback function that you provide that callback function would receive an event argument which is an event object so here i'm going to use a normal function it's going to receive an argument of event you can call this whatever you want i can also call this event obj event object i'm just going to leave it as event and this is going to be an object where i can find several information about the event that was triggered so first, let me console.log event like this. So if I come back here and I refresh, if I click on the button, you see this is the event object here. You can see several properties, parts, screen, blah, blah, blah. But the one we are more interested in is this target property here, which like I said, gives information about the element that received that event. So if I come here and I say event.target, which is the element object of the element that received the event.id, if I come here and I refresh, if I click on this you can see event target.id is button you can also say event target.class name i'm using class name instead of class here because in javascript class means something else so if you want to reference the class attribute of elements you have to use class name if i refresh and i click on click me you can see we have this class of hello which you can see from this html here is this class of hello so like i said the event dot target gives information about the elements that received an event one more property we can check here is tag name if i refresh and i click on this you can see the tag name is the tag of the element that received the event in uppercase. Now one question you may have, which is one question I used to have, is why would you need event targets when you have already selected an element from the DOM? See here, I use document.querySelector to select this button, which means I can also come here and say console.log button.tagName. So if I come here, I refresh, if I click on click me, button here is coming from event.targets.tagName, button here is coming from button.tagName. So why would I need the event object when I'm handling an event on this button and I can assess the several information I want directly from this button. One major scenario where you would need the event.target is when you do not know what element actually received the event. Because of the case of event bubbling, where an event bubbles to its parent or its ancestors, in such cases, the ancestor may not know where an event is coming from. If you don't know what event bubbling is, I would leave a link in the video description so you can check it out. But simply summarize, event bubbling is a case where this button receives an event and because this button is a child of this span, the event would be bubbled or you can say propagated to this span and that event would again be propagated to this div and it will keep propagating until it gets to the root of the document which is html and i'm going to show you a simple example let's say i also select the div from the dom and i use an id of div here i can say div add event listener click and in my callback function i'm simply going to do the div was also clicked 
Now, watch what happens when I go here. I'm going to refresh. When I click on the button, we have these two logs, which are coming from here. But then we also have the div was clicked, which means this callback function was also triggered. And what triggered it? That is because the button received an event, the click event in this case, and that event bubbled to the span and it's bubbled to the div. And since we have an handling function for the click event on the div, we have this. Now, in this case of the div, you may not know Know where this event is coming from because this event may be coming from the span now watch let me refresh first if i click on the span which is this purple background you see we have the div was also clicked so when you are handling this click function in the div how do you know where the event is coming from this is a good scenario where the event dot target is useful because the callback function would also receive an event argument i can come here and i can say console.log event dot target okay i'm going to leave the div was clicked i'll put it up like this and I'll comment this part. I'm going to refresh. Now, if I click on the button, we have the div was clicked, but when we log event.target, this gives a reference to the button because that is the button that actually received the event. We have button class hello id button click me. If I click on the purple background, which is the span, look at what happens. We have the div was clicked and then we have the span element. So the event target is useful in cases like event bubbling where you do not know where an event is coming from. Now, by using event target the div here knows that this event is coming from the button from the span or maybe from a different descendant and just like this example i showed you this is very useful in cases of event delegation i have a video for that too i'll leave a link in the video description event delegation is a case where an element receives an event let's say button and instead of handling that event directly on the button you're handling it on a parent element which is a div this is actually a pattern that can improve performance of your applications in respect to handling events so here in this div i'm first going to get the target property from the event object i'm using object destructuring by the way if you'd love to learn about it i have a link for you in the video description then here i can say if target dot tag name is equal to button then here we'll say console.log button was clicked and i'm going to repeat the same thing for span if target dot tag name is span then i have span was clicked i'm going to clear this off i don't need it anymore i'm also going to clear this and if i come here and i refresh when we click on the button see we have button was clicked when we click on the span which is the purple background you see span was clicked so this is a case of event delegation where you use a parent element or an ancestor element to handle events so here instead of having to provide an event listener for the span just to know when it was clicked or to provide an event listener for the button just to know when it was clicked i can use this parent or ancestor to handle those events event because it will be bubbled so this is a case where event target is very useful because now we know where this event is coming from if you enjoyed this video please give it a like subscribe and also turn on notifications for more concepts in javascript i would be simplifying